safety is top of mind right now. Not only do we have a flood watch, but we also for two of our counties have a severe thunderstorm watch Blanco and Gillespie counties until 2 a.m. Right now the storms are here, but they are not severe. They're just below severe limits. The flood watch meantime in effect until at least tomorrow evening for Milam County. It's been extended all the way until Sunday evening. Bottom line storms are a given for overnight tonight into early tomorrow. After that, we'll have to watch for more scattered development and lingering development in any spots that see repeated rounds are the ones that will be most at risk for significant flooding. As you can see, that line of storms thankfully sub severe, at least for our area, as it's moving into western Mason and western Gillespie counties, not quite to Loyal Valley, right over downtown Mason and Grit, and not quite to Fredericksburg just yet. There is some hail, but it's not severe. One little patch just to the southwest of Loyal Valley, another just to the east of Mason as we zoom in, maybe some pea sized hail just south of Hilda and west of Cherry Spring. As far as the next towns to see these storms, the individual cells are pushing north northeast, but the entire line is pushing east about 25 30 miles per hour. Loyal Valley 1022 for you, Castell right around 1032, and Valley Spring right around 1056. Let's head south into Gillespie County. Same song. Second verse, this time for Cherry Spring at 1020, Fredericksburg about 1040, Eckert right around 1058. And I also want to point your attention to a thin line of storms out ahead of the main system right in here. This we'll keep an eye on to see if it strengthens because the air here is a little bit more conducive for strong to severe thunderstorms still to develop. That about 55 miles away from Austin. So give it a couple of hours and that's when the storms will likely roll through the I-35 corridor. After that point, we have to watch very closely because some indications are the storms might kind of stall and that could add up to totals getting heavier east of I-35. So all types of weather that we're currently undergoing as far as timing these storms. This is showing midnight. Well, most of the storms will probably be a little farther to the east by midnight, maybe closer to the I-35 quarter, 130, maybe a little bit farther to the east by about 2 to 3 a.m., working off toward our easternmost areas along Highway 77, 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. Here's where things get tricky. We could see the storms kind of stall, especially along and east of I-35. If that happens, that could contribute to some much higher rainfall total. So just keep in mind that is going to be an eventual possibility, and that could lead to some heavier rainfall totals. Quick look right now at those totals, which could encompass or even beat two to three inches even during the overnight period before we see more rain chances into Mother's Day and all into next week.